Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple to-do application from scratch using Angular 15 and Firebase. Here is a demo of the web application. We will first install all the prerequisites. Then we will start creating the Angular project. We will see how to set up Firebase project. Finally, we will check how to integrate Firebase with the Angular project. Let's install Visual Studio Code. I have a Windows 64-bit system. So we'll download accordingly. Let's install it. Visual Studio Code is now installed successfully. Let us now install Node.js. First let us download the installer file. Let's install. Let's verify the installation by checking the node and npm version. We have successfully installed Node.js. Let us install Angular CLI to work with Angular projects. Just type the command npm install. We can optionally write the version which we would like to install. Let's verify the installation by checking the Angular version. We see that we have successfully installed version 15 of Angular CLI. Let's create the Angular project. Just type the command ng new and the name of the project. In my case, I am creating project name as to do app. Let's not choose routing as of now and go with default CSS setting. Let us open the project in Visual Studio Code. Let's simply run the project to see how it looks. We see that it contains default template.
Let's remove this and add a heading. After saving, the page automatically refreshes and shows the latest content. Let us now create the Firebase project and a database. Click on Go to Console. Let's create a project. Give it a name. Project is now created. Let us now create a database for our app to store the notes list. Start in test mode. Let's give the collection name as Notes. Let's also add some notes. We can use auto-generated ID for each notes. Let's add our first note. Let's also add another notes. The Firebase database is now ready to be used in our Angular project. We need to install an npm package to work with Firebase from our Angular project. Let's install it with the npm command. Now we need to add the configuration related settings in app module file. We need to pass the configuration of our Firebase app here. Let's get it from Firebase console. Click on web. Let's give a name to our app. And copy the Firebase configuration from here. Now let's add the configuration in app module. Firebase is now configured and ready to be used in our Angular project. Let us create a service file in Angular. We will be writing the code to interact with Firebase project in this file. Just type the command ng create service and the name of the service. Let us now add the methods to interact with the Firebase data store. We need to inject the Firebase class in the constructor. We basically need three methods. One to get all the notes data from the data store. Next, we need a method to add new notes into the database. Finally, we need to write a method to delete a particular note based on the given ID.
Let's create a reference to our notes collection. Now we can make use of collection data method to fetch all the data from data store. Now let's implement the add notes method. First, we need to create the notes object to be sent. We can make use of add doc method to add the new notes. Finally, let's implement the delete notes method. First, we need to create the reference of the particular document based on the given ID. Then we can make use of the delete doc method to delete the document from the collection. Let us now add the HTML and the methods. In the constructor, we can inject the service class to access the Firebase interaction methods. First, we need to register the service class in app module. Let's declare an array variable to store the notes data. Now let's write the method to refresh the notes array. We can make use of the getNotes method in service class and populate the notes array. We need to call the refresh method on page initialization. So I am calling this an ng on init function. Next, let's implement the add notes method. The input data will actually come from a text box. Once insertion is done, let's refresh the notes array. Finally, let's also add the delete notes method. Now let's add the HTML content. First, let us write ng for and display the existing notes. Let's check if this works. We see that we are able to display the existing notes. Now let's add a text box to add new notes. We need to add a button to call the method to add new notes. Let's also add a button to delete a particular notes based on ID.
Now let's check if this works. We see that we are able to add new notes. Let's also check the delete method. We see that our to-do app works as expected.